wise choice. Stay down. Hey, over here. Take a seat. Anyway, I asked around near Sauna Go 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right, good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from a morgue. Tamara and Kume are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep. Got a name, too. Akira Murase. Another Kyori thug. Word is, he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. 
Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. いらっしゃいませ。Suspicious.
Huh? Who are you? You need something? Actually, I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? About December 3rd. Oh, I had that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right, I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ah, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. We're doing this.
らっしゃいませありがとうございました。Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's. well, he's a character. Is it more detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The only is probably somewhere nearby. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick sec? My phone? Ah, what do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh, I guess it came pre installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie. I had to give myself admin privileges. Wow. Hmm. Not sure. Didn't use. Oh, yeah. Great. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope. See, it got. So. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamish. Appreciate it. <laughs> Try, jerk. Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? 
I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amur. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. guys. See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amur. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory, then? I've got something to show you. this show that I was involved in the incident. Oh. Huh. I guess you're right. Well, what about this, then? Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> I guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? 
He... he said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. <sighs> no clue what went down in the club after that. Tell me about the camera out back. The broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. Yeah, it was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. How much use to me, then? Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder. To make him bleed, I guess. The cops came by after the incident, right? A detective, yeah. Guy named Kuroiwa. Apparently with organized crime. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. <sighs> Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. <sighs> Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. Now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds like he didn't die here then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? Kaito, what's up? Hey man, where are you? Just left a club called Amour, over on Supon Street. Amour? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Eh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later.
Ready, go! finished yet. I want a rematch! Fight one! Ready! Go! Oh! 
には空風が足らないわ10年が早かったか Round one. Let the action begin. Go! Round one. Let the action begin. Go! Go! Round two, go! 
go! Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamura of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges. They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's, uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back.
Not for you. Not so fast. Who are you? Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami kun what are you doing? Well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumida. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. So you're defending Hamura, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home, Mafu you. Later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. I only won because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumira. It's okay, Izumira-san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. So, what do we do about the case? Mafuyu said there are already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there, too. Got it. See you over there, then. What is it now? Look, just, uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. I'll give you a breather. Ah! いらっしゃいませ。あのー、この間の仕事の件ですけど。はい、もしもし。あなた。ありがとうございました。あ、もしもし。お母さんだけど。いらっしゃいませ。遅くなりそうなの。もしもし。
あのー、この間の仕事の件ですけどあもしもしお母さんだけど今日ちょっと帰り遅くなりそうなのもしもしあなたんちょっと今の声誰よもしもしあのーこの間の仕事の件ですけどあ、もしもしお母さんだけど今日ちょっと帰り遅くなりそうなのもしもしあなたありがとうございましたちょっと今の声誰よ女の声がしたわよもしもしこの間の仕事の件ですけどいらっしゃいませあもしもしお母さんだけど今日ちょっと帰り遅くなりそうなのもしもしあなたんちょっと今の声誰よおもしもし、えー、ありがとうございました
Try, jerk. Good stuff. Arigatouございました. Ano? Hmm? いらっしゃいませ。Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. 
Just sit your ass down, would you? Just got the call from... Sounds like... So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th. Police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. What the? Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyorik clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Uh-huh. Suspicious. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body, meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Hmm. Cause of death was severe brain trauma, directly through the eye sockets. Weapon must have been long and pointed, like an ice pick. Did they gouge his eyes out to make an example out of him? Or was it something else? Hmm. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. 
Suspicious. Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at Amor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point, but it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume, just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? Yep, go on. All right, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. 
That's Arshantani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. Then what's your next move? Ah, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kumi's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. Come on, man. Is this the time to- I bet they're out for blood after what happened- One way or another, huh. <laughs> Deal, <laughs> He's right- Come on, kaito -san. Fine. First things first. To find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Must we? Stay down.
いらっしゃいませありがとうございましたあのうんふええはいはは<笑>あの This is Yagami. Yagami san, I'm going to get you. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well, under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. Be a very different person, I think. Should have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Gender is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... they've got a front in the city, the KJ Art office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course.
Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The Kyore are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Stay down. Good stuff. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is Yagami. What's up? It's me. You at KJR yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. See you. Be up in a sec. You, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. <laughs> this here is Marase. Wonder of Forget we're looking for Marase or something? Fly that thing back over to uh. KJR. Suspicious. Hey, what's with the book? Uh 
Forget we're looking for Marase or something? Fly that thing back over to KJR. Forget we're looking for Marase or something? Fly that thing back over to KJ. JR.
Suspicious. Hmm. Hey. What the? Hold up, hold up. That's him. Shit, he went inside. Suspicious. Hey, there he is. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. 
Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who has? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. So stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tok's body? <laughs> if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. 